She's passionate about love, about life, and, and about living. She has a very childlike personality. It's just silly. She has a very silly personality. Always with a smile and happy. And that's what I love is like you just happy when you're around her. She's an amazing person who is super fun to be around, funny when you want and serious when you want. She's very passionate about all of what she does, very much so. I always think of her as being one of the most fierce advocates in this community. She really cares for people. She talks to everyone. She takes the time to, to go over there and, and to say hello. I can always give her a call and she tells me how to kind of handle things in a very caring and thoughtful and elegant way. We would run into each other at Marshall's getting good deals on fashion. This is really super funny. I'm sorry, Donna, but I have to say this. And I say Donna because when I was little, I could never say Diane. And so to this day, she's Donna. But we lived behind the avenue, and that's when people used to cruise up and down the avenue. And my dad had a big white Cadillac, and she had to take care of me. And she ratted up my hair and put spray in it, and I had a beehive. I'll never forget. I thought I was so cool. And she threw my Barbies in the back seat. And so she said, sit on your knees. And we cruised up and down <laughs> the avenue. Diane for us is like a sister, like a friend, like a mother too. Sal told her the first time they went out he was gonna marry her. My dad always made her laugh. They never sat still. They were always on the go. They definitely complimented each other. I just always looked at her as a mother that cared for all, always gave her all to everyone. She was a devoted mother. And I think of her as a visionary. I mean, she was doing things that did not exist at that particular time. No one was helping victims. The first 24 hours are extremely important because that's when the victim feels the pain. They, and we are involved in that pain, and we can share that with them and remind them that there's hope. I think in the state, really, she, to my mind, started the best victim witness program. As when people were coming in contact with the system, it's for a terrible reason. To make the process one that's more humane and to support prosecutors in their job to take people to court just lifted an unbelievable burden. And in my mind, to give people the justice that they were entitled to. In 1989, when the news of it hit that uh, there was a shooting going on at Cleveland School, a bunch of us went into the uh, district attorney's office. It was then uh, John Phillips was the DA. And so we went to watch the, the news broadcasts that were going on. Remember, my first thought was, oh my God, this is, this is horrific. Well, then Diane, she went out to the, uh, to the scene at Cleveland School. The first day that started our friendship was actually the day of the Cleveland School shooting. Diane had entered the campus after the shooting and I had been doing a number of things with the police and the fire men and uh, and then she came and asked the right question she asked me how can I help and from then on we met daily and discussed the needs and developed ways to address the needs of the staff the students the parents because there had not been a shooting of this nature and this 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 size in, in America. And her compassion and empathy and stuff for, for the children, it was unbelievable. It was the most crushing thing I'd ever seen. And then a few years later, she got involved with the Children's Museum. It, it made absolute sense that she would get involved with that. That became a, a real passion of hers just because of the, what she saw that day. She's carried not only her work, but her, I think her heart um, into, you know, being here at the Children's Museum and all that it stands for. The museum has been a very uh, important project that she took on early on because it speaks to the hope that she tries to impart to families when they're going through something so difficult, such as the Cleveland school shooting. It, they all started because Diane encouraged them to 
to do something more with that pain. Every faculty member at, at the school felt the great need to make sense of this and have something good come out of evil. And Diane was in that planning from the ground up. I think without Diane's contributions, uh, the museum wouldn't be here. When uh, Janet Gang testified before Congress regarding the injuries from Cleveland School, when she came back, she talked to Diane and she said, how can we create a children's museum? Because she had visited them back east. And Diane said, go see Mary Elizabeth at the Bank of Stockton. The children really get into your blood and your heart and your soul. Listening to children and their laughter and joy has to be experienced to, to really fully understand. You know, a lot of us are here on the board because Diane asked us to be here. And a lot of us are still here many, many years later because anytime the museum has any issues at all or we're worried about funding, Diane asks us all to step up to the plate and work hard to keep the museum open for the kids of this community. And we do, and here we are so many years later. And she'll call and she'll say, um, we're having a fiesta, you'll be there, right? Okay, I guess I'm going. We're having an exhibit opening, you're gonna be there, right? Our Christmas trees are gonna be on display. You're gonna be there, right? Is it? Okay, I'll be there, yes. The whole story of this museum, to me, should be known nationwide. How do you respond to a tragedy? Take a look at Stockton and what they did. Her religion is very important to her. We'd be in the car, we'd be driving, and she'd say, let's pray. Her compassion for people is something that is, you can't, you can't teach that. She cares for everyone. I mean, her neighbor, her family, her friends, the church, the people in the church. The force of nature. Fun. Elegant. Tenaciousness. Strong. Tint. Generous. A survivor. Sunshine. Classy. Compassionate. Funny. Sage. Strong. Determined. Kind. Empathetic. Hilarious. Energy. Bombshell. Insightful. Delightful. Love. I think that sums it up. <laughs>